Breathe deep and move. Very well. Alive. I'm alive. How is this possible? I remember the ship. I remember falling. Then nothing. You might want to reconsider calling her a friend. Looks like she ran off without us. You're more concerned for her than she is for you, clearly. We need to take care of ourselves. First things first. We need supplies, shelter, and most of all, a healer. We might have escaped, but we still have these little monsters in our heads. No. I don't recognize this place. But anything's an improvement on where we just came from. We need each other. And we both know what's at stake. Can't think of better company. One thing, just before we go. I wanted to thank you again for freeing me. It would have been all too easy for you to run right past my pod, but you didn't. I'll remember that. Lead the way. More for me. What's in here? There must be a settlement nearby.
more of those wretched things. Stay back. One strike could be lethal. Survival isn't such a distant prospect. I've got one of those brain things cornered. There, in the grass. You can kill it, can't you? Like you killed the others? There. Can you see it? Just a dumb boar. You're relieved until you see the flash of a dagger.
Don't we? I saw you on the ship. Free. Scuttling about. You're in league with them, aren't you? Those tentacle... Ah! Your mind twists. You're looking out of unfamiliar eyes, prowling dark, busy streets. You try to hold the memory, but it fades to the worm. The light. The fear. What was that? What's going on? The worm. Of course. That explains things somewhat. And to think, I was ready to decorate the ground with your innards. <laughs> Apologies. <laughs> A kindred spirit. My name's Astarian. I was in Baldur's Gate when those beasts snatched me. The strong and silent type. All right. Please tell me you at least know something about these worms. Turn us into... <laughs> of course it'll turn me into a monster. What else did I expect? Although... It hasn't happened yet. If we can find an expert, someone that can control these things, there might still be time. Well, yes, of course. But first things first. You know, I was ready to go this alone. But maybe sticking with the herd isn't such a bad idea. And you seem like a useful person to know. All right. I accept. Lead on. Something's on my mind. The boar grunts and eyes you warily with its beady eyes. The boar shuffles its trotters, unsure. Then it dashes away into the wilderness. Mind flayer. That hurt. That thing's bound to be dangerous, even if injured. Let's be careful. You approach the dying monster. This is the thing that abducted you. You could end its life here and now, if only you didn't feel compassion. Compassion. deserve to be punished for it. You should be whipped, made to bow before this creature in shame. It's possessing your mind, forcing you to love it. 
but then the feeling slips. The creature's mind seems to focus elsewhere. The monster lies exhausted, defeated. Its eyes, wet orange pearls, radiate malice. Monster. Death is too good for it. Goblins over there. Worth checking for supplies, maybe. Somehow. Approach the sigil on the stone. Magic glitters and swirls from it erratically, as if malfunctioning. It looks slightly dangerous. doing is working wonders. Now a quick little pull should do the trick. Oh. Hello. I'm Gale of Waterdeep. Apologies. I'm usually better at this. A bit shocked, but friend, it's a relief and a pleasure to make your acquaintance. Say, but I know you, don't I? In a manner of speaking. You were on the Nausloid as well. I don't know what transpired exactly, but the ship broke into pieces and I suddenly found myself in freefall. As I was plummeting to certain death, I spied a glimmer quite near where I estimated my body to impact with less than savory propulsion. Recognizing this glimmer to be magical in nature, I reached out to it with a weaving of words and found myself on the other side, as it were. How about you? How did you survive the fall? vast burning wreckage behind you somewhat contradicts your story, but here you stand. So who am I to argue? Still, swashbuckling heroics aside, I have the unfortunate suspicion your survival is still very much in jeopardy. Back on the ship, you too were on the receiving end of a rather unwelcome insertion in the ocular region. Are you not? No use sugarcoating it, is there? The insertee we speak of, this parasite, are you aware that after a period of excruciating gestation, it will turn us into mind flayers? It's a process known as ceramorphosis, and let me assure you, it is to be avoided. You don't happen to be a cleric by any chance, do you? A doctor? Surgeon? Uncannily adroit with a knitting needle? You seem to know enough about our condition to realize it's beyond most clerics' skills. Most? No doubt, but I find myself hoping to be in the presence of the few. You don't happen to be one of them. As we've established, few enough can. It's not exactly a common affliction. We're most certainly going to need a healer, and soon, too. 
how about we lend each other a helping hand once more and look for a healer together? Most excellent. A parasite shared is a parasite halved. Or something to that effect. Oh, but before you think you're about to embark on a journey with most ill-mannered a man, thank you for pulling me out of that stone. It was an act of foresighted kindness, I assure you. For I have the feeling ample opportunities will present themselves for me to return the favor. I'll take that. idea. I wish I had a bag of holding. I hear shouting up ahead. Yellow as a toad, and twice as ugly. The thing's dangerous. Leave it for the goblins to kill. And if it escapes, how will you... Oh, a guest. Your skull pounds in response to the prisoner's white-hot stare. Her lips don't move, yet you hear her voice. Get rid of them. Your words flow to her, though you never speak them aloud. I know what grows inside you, and I know of a cure. Remember how keen she was to leave me to die in the Nautiloid? We can't trust her. He's right. Let's go. We need to check out that blast. You didn't hear it. Shook our camp good, so we came for a look. Northwest. Look for Nettie. 
Whatever your wound, she can mend it. And be careful. There are goblin traps everywhere. Nymessa, come. Enough gawking. Get me down. Observe and listen. You'll hear Enough goblins sword. before you Get see me them. Down. The tadpole hasn't yet scrambled all your senses. Auspicious. But the longer we wait, the more it consumes. My people possess the cure for this infection. I must find a crash. You will join me. Careful. She obviously sees your kindness as weakness. Don't let her take advantage. It is many things. A hatchery, a training grounds, a shelter. Githyanki protocol is clear. When infected with a gay tadpole, we must report to Augusto for purification. You are full up. Dismiss your weakest warrior. I've heard you can't get blood from a stone, but apparently you can get a wizard from one. Gale seems... interesting. There's no story. None that you're entitled to hear, anyway. Just forget you ever saw it. We haven't gone all that far yet. What are you referring to, exactly? Must I? Thinking about it won't help. We know what to do, so let's do it. Find a way to rid ourselves of these things. I'm not too hopeful that a gith crash will actually prove our salvation, but worth keeping in mind. I suppose we'd go our separate ways. Not a slight on your company, of course. Perhaps. Perhaps not. If we do survive, we'll have separate lives to return to. I need to get to Baldur's Gate. There's someone waiting for me there. Someone I have to reach. As soon as possible. Thank you. And you're right. It's a delicate matter. Not something for light conversation. I must admit, you've been a surprise. And not an unpleasant one. Kindred spirits are few and far between for me. Besides, you saved my life aboard the Nautiloid. How can I do anything but sing your praises? Must we? No harm in a little mystery, don't you think? Thank you. I'm sure we'll get along perfectly well. If you're sure. As you like. Perhaps I'll see you at camp. I should speak up. Has the error of your ways become clear? You have made an ally from Kresh Kalir. Few know such fortune. 
Call me Lazel. Come. The Horned Ones mentioned a camp. One there, this Zoru, has seen Githyanki. A crash must be near. We will ask this Zoru where he has seen my kin. All right. What now? Don't waste a step. A Githyanki joining our company. Not a collaboration I'd have anticipated, but a welcome one nonetheless. Let's see. I hail from Waterdeep, City of Splendors. I am a wizard of considerable acclaim and scholar of exceptional accomplishment. I have a cat, a library, and a weakness for a good glass of wine. And if the mood takes me, I'm known to try my hand at poetry. There. Certainly. That I have a great respect for privacy, for instance, especially my own. I am enjoying the latest addition to our little group. Lazelle is delightful. In a very look at me twice and I'll dismember you kind of way, of course. Oh, what's to tell? I'm a magistrate back in the city. It's all rather tedious. Chatter already, Tusky. I expect I am your first. Of course you haven't. They would have cut you from navel to neck. You are no less alien to me than I am to you. I know of your kind, but I do not often encounter them. That large, fleshy nose of yours looks like a mistake. is an opinion, but mine is certainly more economical, disciplined, dignified. I understand much beyond your comprehension. More to the point, I know the cure for our condition. It is imperative we locate a crash. You do well to observe more and question less. Yes, in great detail. It starts with a fever and memory loss. Then you start to hallucinate. Your hair falls out and you bleed from every orifice. Your bones will change form. Your jaw will split to allow room for four great tentacles. All skin will turn to gore and be shed to reveal new flesh underneath. Then you have ceased to exist and a mind flayer is born. Words forged in steel. May your actions express the same metal. We must find my kind and be rid of the parasite. It's as simple as that. The first symptoms should have long since started, though. That is what puzzles me. Yes, if you give it no further thought. But anomalies lead to surprises. Bad surprises. Besides, what hasn't happened may yet come to pass. I'll give it a shot. Another broken trap. Who made these things? Not much use anymore.
That might be worth a look. Magic touch. Hardly a challenge. All's well that ends. Yeah, not as bad as it could have. Scrubs. No sign of a struggle. I wonder what was so subversive about their words that they commanded protection. Anything of use? Things have stayed interesting. I should mind my step. This place wasn't built for the living.
survival is all that matters. No hesitation. Someone inside out. Yes. Victory awaits.
before me. in here. Better than nothing. No rest for the wicked, I see. Well, hello. Oh, a little respite. That's wonders. Let's see what this does. With haste. You break. Mind if I do? It's the been so stained the day. It feels more like a twist than a tenant.
open up. Salutations. Ancient, indecipherable text covers the plaque. Dead tongue. Whoever worshipped here must be long gone. Still breathing, despite everything. <sighs> One day I'll catch a break. my attention you do not recognize the language on the plaque might as well something over there let's move Keep your distance, darling. 